You guys, today's video is on proprioceptive maps. <clears throat> Missy pulled a map out. Missy pulled a map out. That's right, because when you think about this, I want you to remember this video and what it means. Okay, I gotta put this down. So, what the heck is a proprioceptive map? That basically means there's a map of every single part of you inside your brain. Okay, so think of it like this. When you move your hand, you think that you're moving your hand. <laughs> I know this sounds weird, but in reality, what you're doing is actually activating a bunch of places in your brain that are making this movement happen. So your brain has a map of this where all these little bones meet these bones and now we have a wrist. If this map is blurry up here, we're gonna call that a blurry map. So when you have a blurry map of an area, your brain actually considers that very threatening. So you don't want to threaten your brain because what your brain will do is put you down. It'll cause you pain. It'll make you tired, have a headache. I have to pee all of a sudden. Your brain likes to play a lot of tricks on you that seem like pain when maybe they're just perceived pain perceived threat or discomfort to make you pay attention to something that you were not necessarily paying attention to. So when you think of your body parts and why the heck we always make you do a bunch of mobility at every area of your body, it's because the clearer your maps are, in your brain, the less global threat you have in your entire body, therefore creating a happier brain and decreasing the level of discomfort that you experience. So one way to clear up the most maps is just going through joint by joint, preferably once a day, okay? If it's a struggle for you, I will settle for once a week, but I really would prefer once a day. So let's come down to the floor and I'm just going to talk to you guys about ankles because every person I work with, I make them do ankle circles and they're always like, Missy, why do you care so much about ankle circles? Now here's the deal. If you don't have a clear map of your own foot, how the heck is your brain supposed to trust you, right? You're walking through space. This map is blurry in your brain. Your brain's like, mm -mm, no, 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 Gina. You don't even know how to move yourself. How am I supposed to trust you? Okay, so you have to go, look, brain, I am competent. I can go up and down. I can keep my leg still and go in and out. You're trying this with me, right? Yeah, you are. Do it right now. Do it right now. I can connect the dots and make a smooth circle without moving my leg. Okay, here's what most people's ankle circles look like. Okay, first of all, those are hieroglyphics. That looks like your foot is having a seizure. Nobody wants that, okay? So, the more competent every single body part is, the less pain you will feel globally. I really want you to get this. Clearing the maps, okay? So for the ankle, it's flex and point all the way to full range, okay? Full range. Pull your toes to your nose. Point your foot as much as you can. Yeah, I see you, your foot's cramping, I know. It's cause you got a blurry foot map. 
especially on your plantar fascia. Now, hold your legs still. Can you move your foot in and out without moving your leg? Can you do a full circle, connecting those dots, full range of motion, smooth, symmetrical, and slow? I guarantee some of you are having trouble with that. It's okay, I love you long time. Really, really trust me on this. Okay, whoa, that was way too close to my face. I don't have any makeup on. Okay, I also don't know why I'm wearing so many stripes. Okay, just roll with it. Okay, so here's the deal. Proprioceptive maps. That's a big, crazy, long word for proprioception is just your body's 3D awareness movement map, okay? It's your brain's awareness map of yourself in space and proprioception can actually extend to outside of yourself okay for example a tennis player plays with a racket for however many years right let's say they're semi-professional they've had a hundred thousand reps going like this their proprioceptive map actually extends out into the racket. <sighs> yeah, think about how cool this is, okay? A violinist, 100,000 reps of nah, nah, nah. You better believe they know exactly the edges of that sticky wand thing. A ballerina, okay? You can't see my feet. But a ballerina's point shoes that's a proprioceptive map that extends outside of you, but it becomes a part of you in your brain. Your brain hardly knows the difference. This also happens when you're parallel parking. So when you know your car so well, you could creep up into those edges. Man, I lived in San Francisco on hills. You better believe my proprioceptive map of me and my car while I'm driving was really, really, really good. I could park uphill, blindfolded, with one hand, and never have a dink, ding, ding on my car, right? Okay, so that's all I wanted to say about that today. My hair, everything's crazy. Just, it doesn't matter, because <laughs> what matters is the information, right? So when you think of why the heck does my coach make me warm up everything, it's because we're trying to get you clearer maps so that you have more efficient patterning in your brain that causes less energy. It decreases threat globally in your body and makes those neural pathways super efficient so that you can actually use your resources for things that are important. And if you get every single joint super clear, okay, this is why like hip hoppers, they have like really clear maps. If you get all of those super clear, your brain will start to trust you. You won't be so cautious when doing things because if you have done something like this, a thousand times because you see my videos and you've done a ton, ton of reps of these, the next time you're walking and you roll your ankle, it's not going to be a threat to you. You're going to have a really clear map in that area. Your brain won't be like startled. It's me. You know, I've been doing those for three months. Don't even trip. And then you'll go like this. You'll be like, did I sprain my ankle? Cool. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Move on with your life. All right, party people. That's the message for today. Clear those maps. Move your body. Simple, simple, simple. Ooh.